see the historic piano? Yeah. Well, thanks, Susan. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> the, the, uh, this uh, piano, uh, I guess I, I can't remember how long I had it, a dozen years, but it used to belong to the famous jazz drummer Art Blakey. So it's a, it's a historic piano. And I feel uh, happy and honored that, uh, to be around. And I'm, I'm sure it uh, has attracted spirits. And uh, hopefully that, that they're grooving. <laughs> What's under that white paint? So. What's under that white paint? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's why I got it. I got it at Frederick Johnson's piano store in White River Junction. If you've been around for all year, you might know that place. And then, uh, when I when I didn't hear about it, it's been in the studio there for a while. And when I went to buy, to get it, uh, my piano in, in the house was never loud enough, and I kept telling the piano tuner, Dale Howe, <coughs> he uh, he'd said. Uh, why don't you buy uh, Art Blakey's piano? I said, I didn't really know anything about it. I said, what do you mean? He said, it's been in my studio for two or three years. And so I went, I went over right away, and, and uh, there it was. And it, was, it wasn't really expensive. It was a good piano, and, I, and, and it is a loud piano. Yeah, so it's, it's, and I, I was playing with a drummer that was pretty loud. So it was uh, nice to have a piano that could, could be heard. <laughs> and myself, Blakey probably appreciated that quality too. And he was a piano player before he was a drummer. Yeah, How did the piano end up in White River Junction? Say what? How did the piano end up in White River? What did he say? I'm sorry. How did the piano end up in White River? Yeah, Art Blakey uh, married five times. Oh. And one, when he died, uh, one of his wives uh, was in Burlington. And, and the same dealer had a, had two stores. He had a, a Steinway dealership in White River and in Burlington at that time. Uh -huh. So he had uh, there were two pianos. One was a uh, was another one. There was a black upright, also a Yamaha, and that was for sale too. And came with a bench. And I think it, this one was available because they said that the uh, dealership that nobody wanted a white piano. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they, if, you, if you want a classic piano, you want a brown one. Or black one or something like that. So I was, I didn't have that prejudice. <laughs> Mark Blakey used to say sometimes on the breaks, he'd say, we'll be way black. <laughs> you heard that? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So we're going to play Saw Full Strut. That will be our last uh, number.
Lost in the moment. And Ian, uh, thank you for coming in and doing it. And uh, yeah, if, it's, if you ever want to see it again, we'll look up other things. Uh, uh, you would go to YouTube and look up Woodstock Community TV, and uh, there will be. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, each of you individually, it could, uh, never happened uh, without you. Every time it's, uh, it's good. And thank you, uh, Tim Gilmore, for playing such great drums. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.